Hello, I'm Judah. I am uh, going to walk you through setting up Spatial OS for Unity. Um, if you can view, I'm I'm recording my voice after I recorded the um, videos, so I'm just kind of narrating as I go through this. So we're starting from the very beginning where we install Spatial OS. Um, as you can see, we go through to install it. I think I left it on the C drive, just wherever. Um, we do have Unity installed. We do have Visual Studio installed, um, but we're going to set the Unity home path so that Spatial can find Unity when building. And we're going to open up and run the Pirate tutorial. At this point, to check spatial, uh, open either command prompt or PowerShell or whatever your favorite flavor is, um, and just verify. So if you can see, we are at the Unity SDK docs from GitHub, going about setting up how to how to set up uh, Unity. Um, I actually made a mistake here um, when setting the Unity home, and I will talk about that when we actually get there. Um, so the Unity version I'm using is the LTS version for 2017. It is 2017. Point four point six at the time I recorded this. Um, so if you saw what I just did, I copied the path to the editor folder. You're actually supposed to go one layer up, right there. Um, but I was confused at this point because the path itself is slightly different. The instructions should make sense, but I, like I said, I got confused. So don't do the editor, do it one layer up from what I'm doing. Variable name, Unity Home, paste in the value. Like I said, re remove that editor folder, do it one higher where the, the root is. There should be a package script or JSON file in there. From this point on, I'm confused trying to figure out how to get it working, so we're actually going to skip ahead in a moment. As you can see at this point, I updated the environment, environment variable, and it will now be able to build or generate um, but now we gotta go back and actually set up the project so now that we have the unity home set up properly we're gonna download the pirate tutorial this in itself has its own lessons but we're just gonna do the first part about setting up the game You can use Git, but I just download the source code like it shows doing the unzip. Extract all the files to your favorite location. I usually do Unity projects in the documents. You do what you want, just make sure you can find it later.
once it's extracted, go to your command your command prompt and go to the directory. So from here I think I also made a mistake. I had to go one level in because um, the actual spatial project is within Pirates Tutorial Master, Pirates Tutorial Master. Um, whenever you you have to run spatial code gen um, just to start pulling the uh, build tools this will fail or no this is doing spatial diagno diagnose um, it's all okay but it can't find unity which it can't really tell so right here following the tutorial it's going to start building um, like I said my unity home was messed up so it's not going to be able to find it and it's going to have an issue and it takes me a while to get through this so I think we're gonna speed this up for the next minute or so you're gonna watch me flail around trying to open unity trying to figure out what I did wrong um, as you can see it's a little bit faster we're trying to, fi trying to figure it out this is my troubleshooting steps open unity just try to figure out why the code gen was not working which was because I didn't set the unity home correctly which I clipped in earlier but we're gonna show again just to show just my steps So again, for your Unity Home environment variable, make sure it is not the subfolder editor, it is the top level one where you install Unity. Doing so will allow you to generate and build your project as intended. running a diagnose just to make sure and once you open unity inside the workers folder it should be able to uh, compile and um, show no errors in a moment I'm going to close down unity to start the build um, you can build the workers within Unity, but I prefer using the command line. From the Pirates tutorial, we grab the build Unity worker and Unity client with the target of development. Deployment is for when we're pushing to the cloud, and of course development is when we're going to be running the server locally. Uh, I'm going to show a little bit of the build process and then I'm going to skip ahead in a moment.
if you're new to spatial, um, the pirate tutorial is the best way to check out what you can do in Unity. Um, there's also the wizards demo, which I would not build a game off of, but it is very good to check out on a more complete game using Unity. Uh, if you're using Unreal, unfortunately I don't have as many resources for you. Um, people are using Unreal to make it, to make use Spatial OS and as Unreal workers for the server side. It's just I don't have any experience with that. Um, there is the forums, which is a good place to ask questions, and there's also the Discord where you could pop in and ask. And there's plenty of people hanging around there. Um, yeah, so the Wizards demo is great for seeing a more complete game using Spatial, and the Pirates demo is a good, or the Pirates tutorial is a good walkthrough of setting up some stuff using spatial, learning about how the networking kind of works and replicates data across to other players, and gets your feet wet with the schema generation for the data contracts, and just the new the new way that you have to think to use spatial. So at this point, you have everything built. It'll show build succeeded with X amount of time. Um, and then you will you will want to open Unity again, so you run the client in the editor, and then you will want to run spatial local launch. Following the instructions, once you have Unity open, you will want to go to the Unity client scene. And then once Spatial is started, which takes a little bit of time, um, you'll be able to run and connect and have your ship, which we will show in a moment. The uh, initial setup for this, since it has to download all the runtimes, is going to take a little bit longer than usual. Um, like I said, this is the first time on this. Well, I don't think I actually said this. I just reinstalled my everything on my laptop, so I took this as a good time to show what the f first setup for a spatial is. You will want to open the inspector once you're seriously getting into development. It's at localhost twenty one thousand slash inspector uh, and it shows where your entities are so it's really good for debugging for when your game is running now that the game is up uh, it's time to start the unity client and now we got music um, I keep saying it a lot sorry but uh, first it'll show the splash screen and then you're going to connect and then the what my computer is doing is it's processing a bunch of the entity prefabs and once that's done it is in the game and as you can see there's a fish in the water and that fish is controlled by the server uh, so it's an actual live entity which we're looking over here purple are smaller schools of fish and the blue 
or the other singular purple entity is that other fish that we saw which the blue is the player so that fish is just about going under uh, I'm trying to do a little split screen here so you can see both the world map and the player it's a little hard with the limited space but as you can see there's a fish in front of our ship and we are chasing it So Spatial can do a whole lot. It's got some nice development tools with the visual map display and property um, check. Um, it's just the initial setup takes a bit. So hopefully this was helpful for you and uh, good luck developing.